so hello everyone today is saturday july 9 2022 and this is the hindu delhi edition so as usual we'll be first identifying the most important news followed by a detailed analysis of the same but before moving forward let's see the answer to yesterday's question so the yesterday's question was to identify major ocean currents of south indian ocean okay so we'll see first we'll make the south indian ocean map so we know this is what this is the equator so we have this thing here like this or we have to make south indian ocean now. wait wait so we move from africa so africa is something somewhat like this so this is one part okay fine this is your window okay when it was like this and then we have these smaller islands then we have an australia here we have a papua new guinea and all those here fine so this is more or less your and this is an, not so wait yes now this is your antarctica okay so let me mark antarctica australia africa asia okay fine so we have to see the oh wait wait this microphone is getting detached from my coat okay it is stable now. okay fine so we have to make the current fine so we have this south indian ocean equatorial current one thing i missed to make here these are very important thing there is an island called this okay there is this and there is this now let's see so we have this thing obviously this will go like this one will come like this and other will come from like this okay and then we'll have one more current here you know that there is also like if this is the equator then there is this pacific current and uh, south pacific so it gets divided like this and i told you that day there's one branch also comes like this okay so don't forget this branch because it comes in indian ocean okay and then we have this very strong current that is called the westward drift and it goes like this it circum silences the entire this is antarctica okay then this is circumferencing like this i'm not saying about the what we say it is westward drift now then it will be like this because it will come from west okay this is the earth then westward drift okay it will be something like this fine so uh, a branch will come here also and this is what we have the entire guy for this south indian ocean so this is a glass current okay this is south indian ocean equatorial current this is mozambique current okay this is live-in current okay this is west ward drift fine and this is west australian current you understand now what are the major currents of south indian ocean okay so it is clear so we have hot warm currents as this south indian ocean equatorial current Oglas current mozambique current fine they will go on to merge with each other okay like this and they will appear somewhere here when uh, in uh, that when we made uh, the currents for this atlantic ocean we had one cold current here its branch like this pengula current and this is the one of the hot current that we'll find here fine so this is the entire picture here is it okay so this is living current just remember this Oglas current mozambique current and west australian current is there and west world drift is there fine so we are done with this so today's question is two question you have to identify the 
ocean currents of north indian ocean i'll give you a hint okay it has two set of um what we say two set of ocean currents two set of ocean currents okay so you name both two name both of them okay fine so let's move on and find out what are the important news for today which needs analysis okay now this is a very sad news former japan pm shinzo abe assassinated okay mm. he was killed by a local gunman there so there is nothing here on these pages let's see okay now look this is a very important thing legislator party and registered party are two different identities okay this is uh, from which section this is from the uh, anti defection uh, laws of 10th schedule okay so this is important this may no i don't think it would come in prelims next year okay now this will read okay i as officer suspended okay Baker enthusiast upset over GST high court fountain pen. Okay, fine. Okay. What is this? King Cobra emerges from an artificially hacked edge under project for captive breeding at. this part in mangalore the koga egg has after 76 days of incubation okay so we there was king koga how beautiful it looks okay the shadow of war between israel and iran beating the heat okay we must this is just a suggestive article if you want you can read it a plant that is much more than planting the how forest landscape yes we should do it for pay in sports will bring more women as player and fan pharmacist and the terror Okay. Fine. Okay. There is no news till now. <laughs> Since I have is with Prime Minister. Okay, Mr. Modi has written this. Okay, in a blog post, PM recalls interaction with global statesman. Yes, he was actually a global statesman. More death of former Japanese Prime Minister tributes foreign for close ally. They should not have killed him at least. This is wrong. They should not have started helping to save Hindus. 
is the main principle yes this is important again kupwara defense exports to touch 13000 crore here okay fine so we are on this post page so we have identified the most important news now let's go on and analyze the same these are all sports news today a lot of sports news come on saturday as we all know okay we'll do this also we have a sports news today okay so a sports news still launches digital access for welfare scheme fine so let's just do it here only aimed at minimum governance government and maximum governance okay let's see what is the scheme okay union sports ministry has cut the red tape further in bid to enhance transparency accountability and speed of process by launching web portals for cash award to sports person and pension scheme and also for accessing national sports development fund for making contributions to it the union sports minister anurag thakur now that revised scheme and digital access will meant to help him. ease of living for a sports person to cut processing time to a great extent moving towards the ideology of minimum government and maximum governance the sports person can directly apply for welfare scheme earlier the proposal was received through sports federation sports authority of india which used to take considerable time for submission of the proposal sometimes it used to take more than one or two year to approve the proposal now the applicant need to file apply online for cash within 6 months for the last date of particular event said the sports minister the verification process for cash awards has been modified to reduce the processing time the pension benefits have been extended to the athletes of uh, def olympics also the uh, minister made it clear uh, categorically that physical submissions of application would no longer be required and applicant need not to make rounds of government officer to seek their rightful benefits the fund would also be transferred to bank account as far as an sdf is concerned the minister said that individual institution and corporation corporate organization can now directly contribute for players sports facilities and sports event through the portal the website will provide easy and transparent access not only to sports person but also to cr uh, csr contributions okay a good scheme fine okay then let's move I think we had a just an editorial, right? There was, there was. I, I, I don't think there was any news. Let's see, one more time. Nothing all over here. Yes, there was this news. Beware of tech savvy racketeers out to dupe job seeker. Cloned website, malicious link being used to lure unsuspecting victims. Our staff message about opening for a senior manager at Delhi Metro Rail Corporation. The message sought a small payment as registration fee and provided a link to help the amount. Mr. Singh clicked the link and paid the fee, only ending up losing nineteen thousand. Okay. In there at time was not stable. I had to run a house. We did on a rent in single flat, Karol Bagh. I thought I can earn a better salary by getting that job. He filed a case of fraud with Delhi Police. He had to get his money back, just like Mr. Singh. Many other job seekers in the city duped. Okay. Looking for a job online when I saw the advertisement on job portal, Mr. Mohit said. Did not lose money by clicking on messages. He was victim of more elaborate job fraud. After seeing the resume with the employer who had listed job, Mr. Mohit was asked to appear for an online exam. He was told that his resume has been shortlisted and he was required to write another online exam after paying fee of twenty six hundred. This was followed by further demand of six one two five for office uniform and thus ten thousand five hundred for as his salary. Account activation fee. Repeated demand. They keep asking for money on pretext of completing various formalities and believe them. 
the ultimately i was told that vacancy has been closed due to some internal uh, emergency soon after the caller went okay he has he too hasn't got his money back despite all i came from middle class and i aspire to earn more but this incident has set me back financially and has affected me psychologically modus operandi this is important amateur criminals who set up makeshift call center mostly in pitampur and dwarka such fake job racket source mobile number of aspirant and job seeker from job portals okay so this is the source and start making calls and sending them text sending text to them about attractive employment opportunities then they send the victims link which take them to authentic looking but clone website okay so clone website these head those heading in the racket also put out ad in newspaper on various website asking candidate to apply on clone website okay web designer are paid to design genuine looking website for companies and create google forms and written examination in order to make recruitment process seem authentic okay came across such one newspaper advertisement which offered a job in telecom company at an attractive salary duped 40000 Okay, after he uh, one person got in touch with him through WhatsApp and asked him to pay forty thousand as examination fee. After I made online payment, they stopped responding to my call. I lost my money and hope of getting job. Now I am preparing for an IS exam again. The senior officer said that police have often come across cases where the employee hired by accused person to call the victims or send the messages regarding the job offers were not taken, were not aware of being part of the fake racket job. Okay, fake fake job. Okay. So this is the thing. So it is up to us to make keep ourselves safe because no, but everybody else will try to loot us. Okay, let's do it here only. A plan that is much more than just planting trees. Okay. The focus is now on forest landscape restoration. to regain ecological functionality and improve human welfare so three things are there okay look forest restoration and forest landscape restoration are two different thing forest landscape is a complex biodiversity or biodiverse system okay that develops over time let's see so last month ab- about 100 women Employed under MG Narega, were seen digging, pit, planting tree, and watering them in this village in one side district in Punjab, just in the time for World Environment Day that is observed every year on June 5. Working alongside them were 50 young people from local clubs. The district administration was involved too. It was an example of community effort. Let us move to this one. It is also time for Ban Mahotsav, which literally means celebrating the forest. The history of Ban Mahotsav. Goes back to July 1947 when it was first organized by Punjabi botanist M S Randhawa, very important figure. Subsequently, in 1950, Kanhaiya Lal, Munshi, an environmentalist and Union Minister of Agriculture, expanded its reach and national scope. In today's world, forests need to be celebrated more than ever. Simultaneously, more forests need to be created and restored. However, there is much debate about the effort around planting trees. Is this the right way to do so? Are there do's and don'ts when it comes to mass tree planting? Let us step back for a bigger picture. According to an IUCN, deforestation and forest degradation contribute to around 12% of global greenhouse gas emission. The total area occupied by primary forest in India has declined to by 3.6%. The aim now, typically, a government has relied on deforestation and reforestation as means of establishing tree on a non-tree land. These strategies have now evolved. The focus is now on forest landscape restoration. The process of regaining ecological functionality and improving human welfare across deforestation or degraded forest landscape. This approach keep in mind multiple land uses and people needs in short and long term. Forest landscape restoration seek to involve communities in process of designing and executing mutually advantageous intervention of upgradation of landscape. Okay? so approach keep in mind so this is the definition of the forest this approach forest landscape restoration approach okay so this approach keeps in mind multiple land uses and people needs in short and long time 
Forest landscape restoration seeks to involve community process of designing and executing mutually advantageous intervention for upgrading restoration of landscape. Nearly 2 billion hectares of degraded land in the world have a scope for potential restoration. This is a very important article. Mark my word. The person, people who are writing means, please mark my word. This is going to come. This section is going to come in at least in paper 3 or maybe in paper 1. I mean in GS1 or GS3. The crucial aspect of this process is to ensure diversity of species while planting trees. Natural forests with diverse native tree species are more efficient in sequestering carbon than monoculture tree plantation. Planting diverse species is also healthier for local communities and their livelihoods. And international study published earlier this year found that diversifying species in forest plantation has a positive impact on quality of forest. Obviously, look. Diversification is always good because it increases the resilience of that biodiverse area, right? In Punjab, for instance, the community is proactively planting native species such as Jhand, Desi Kikar and Harwan, which are resilient and acclimatized. And most of these saplings have high survival rate. Why? Because this is agroecologically fit, okay? They are native plants here, so they know they understand the climate agroecological settings of this place, so they have adop, adapted to that. <clears throat> a pivotal role tree planting comes with a varied environmental and ecological benefits. Forests are integral, integral in regulating ecosystem, influencing carbon cycling, mitigating the effects of climate change. Annually, they absorb roughly 3 billion tons of carbon dioxide. This absorption includes nearly 33% of carbon dioxide released from burning fossil fuel. But beyond the environmental benefit, there is human dimension also. Millions of life and livelihood are intertwined with forests. Forests are boon for local communities and their livelihood by functioning out the source space for goods and services. India being an econ agrarian economy, according to academics from WRI, forest ecosystem entails soil fertility and water availability, enhancing agricultural um, productivity, and in turn, rural economy. Tree planting prevents erosion, stem flooding. Sustainable forest crop reduces food insecurity, empower women, allowing them to gain access to more nutritional diet, new income stream. Agroforestry lenses, lessens rural to urban migration and contributes to an increase in resources and household income. Planting trees is deeply linked to holistic and well-being of all in individual and community and planet. India and programs. The span of 2021 to 2030 is the UN decade for on ecosystem restoration, emphasizing efforts to restore degraded terrestrial ecosystems including forests. In 2011, a bone challenge was launched with a global goal of restoration of 150 million hectares of degraded and deforested landscape. India joined bone challenge in 2015, pledging to restore 26 million hectares of degraded and deforested land by 2030, an additional carbon sink of 2.5 billion to 3 billion tons of carbon dioxide equivalent through forest and tree cover be created by 2030 okay this is a married government program such as compensation there is a merit government program such as campa uh, okay the national mission on green india green india mission the nagar one scheme on forest fire and the forest fire prevention management scheme to one to name of you this is spotlight there is a spotlight on youth via green skill development program for youth who aspire to attain employment in um, environment and forest sector. State government are not far behind either in case point Telangana which okay. which initiated a large tree planting program called Telangana U Haritha Haram. However, forest restoration in India faces hurdles in terms of identification of area for restoration, lack of important accorded research and scientific strategies in tree planning, stakeholder conflict of interest and financing. The major thing is that the forest is not left uh, to itself to grow because when it is left to itself to grow then it will obviously show more resilient growth. Right. Planting a sapling, what is the right way under uh, to undertake to plant tree plantation right? To be successful forest landscape restoration must be implemented proactively, blustering landscape and forest ecosystem to durable and adjust the faces of future challenges in the society and it also need involvement and the alignment of host of stakeholders including community champion government and land rounders. The restoration of natural forest ecosystem can be strengthened through participatory government by engaging stakeholders as in Punjab example. Vulnerable forest okay and all those things are there read it 
women and youth of mansa district are securing future of the communities as well as by maximizing their in that place to do thing okay fine a good article uh, about forest the utility what is the present scope what are the government schemes and what is the need of forest and all those things are there okay it's a good article you make notes out of it more or less i mean you made the points clear that what are the important points you make note of it you'll it's a good article in short okay so i don't see any news here there was one news yes growth with inclusivity is the main principle of government okay growth with inclusivity or inclusive growth now you see this is a direct keyword from the syllabus and this is being used by the prime minister himself okay so there is a guaranteed question on inclusive growth this year let's see is the driving principle behind government approach to making uh, policy making stressing on the road map for being re uh, ready to pursue reform by conviction over 25 coming 25 year in amrit kal this is called amrit kal okay unlike reforms by compulsion undertaken in the past okay now let's see growth is not possible without inclusion and inclusion is not possible without growth so he is saying that inclusion not uh, leads to growth and growth leads to inclusion a dialectic relation setting improvements in being basic amenities to people over past 8 year he has been uh, yes be the provision of housing cooking gas electricity water supply etc fine under ayushman bharat not only have uh, we 50 crore poor got access to good hospital for free treatment up to 5 lakh the phenomena has paved the way for growth as a third wave of population as a third of population that was excluded from access to healthcare have now been added okay mm -hmm. arguing that government has had heard the view of most of the people have said that decision making based on people plus pulse rather than populism now this is wrong okay this is over emphasizing uh, they don't actually they are they are the present government is actually doing what uh, what we say uh, it's just like it comes up with the scheme every time okay without even consulting the basic stakeholders as that happened in agnivir scheme or in the uh, farmer uh, the the farmer farm act or in the ca i won't say but in farm act and this agnivir okay agnipath and farm act Uh, so these two were were brought without proper consultation with the basic health, the stakeholder. There was there, therefore there was a serious, or uh, yeah, um, serious <laughs> backup for that. Okay, referring to the challenges flagged by Singapore senior minister who said that India must grow eight to ten percent over next twenty five years. PM said I agree there are challenges, but if there are challenges, there are one thirty crore solutions as well. This is my faith, and we are working ahead with the approach to challenge the challenges. And this is what I like about him that he always. Includes all the people of India. Okay, there are one thirty crore solutions to it. See the wordings. This is what gives positivity in a country. Okay, which is so diverse. Diversity is the base of this country. Okay. Yes, then we come to end of today's newspaper analysis. Okay, so I hope you like it. If you like it, consider subscribing the channel. like comment and share fine with this it's time to take a part from you say a goodbye so goodbye all best of luck study hard and jai hind so friends i really hope that you like this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe our channel and share this video with your friend follow us on telegram as well also keep studying hard keep following your dreams and Keep tuned to our channel. Comment below for any suggestion. Till then, goodbye. Good luck. Keep studying hard.